Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to diagnose the lean bus. As you see on this car, I have lean communication error with this fault code U1112. So basically before starting to explain about this fault code, you might know that we have different type of network on the car. Uh, for example, on this car, I have high speed can, low speed can, and lean bus. So generally the reason that we are using the network on the car is to reduce the number of wires uh, between the control units because all the control units on the car, they are communicating with each other. So we are using the network to reduce the number of wires. And at the same time, using the network, we will share the information at really high speed. So between all these networks I explain on this car, what are the differences? The first difference is the speed. So for example, on high speed CAN, we can reach to one megabit per second. And on the lean bus, we have normally 10 kilobit per second. So you see the difference between the high speed CAN and the lean bus, because normally high speed CAN is used for critical information and lean bus is used for way less critical information. The other information after the speed is actually the number of wires. On the CAN bus, we are using a pair of twisted wires, but on the lean bus, we are just using one wire. So as you see here on the screen, this is the CAN bus. And as you see, we are using two wires, CAN high and CAN low for uh, transferring the information. But on the lean bus, as you see here, we only have one wire to share the information. The other difference is CAN bus is actually a multi-master unit. It means every single unit connected to the CAN bus is actually a master node which can send and receive the information but lean bus is actually one master multi-slave network it, it means we have one master and multiple slaves lean bus can be used on different systems for example on this car as you see lean bus is used on rear parking assist system on this one lean bus is used on adaptive front lighting system and on this car that i'm diagnosing right now lean bus is used for the battery sensor so as you see, this is the battery sensor, which is actually communicating with engine control module to share the information about the battery. On the wiring between these two actually wires on the battery sensor, one of them is the lean bus. So you see the wiring diagram on the screen right now for the battery sensor on this car. The yellow wire is actually connected to the battery and the brown one is actually the lean bus, which is connected to the engine control module. So in this case, ECM is a master node and the battery sensor is a slave node. We are having the problem on the lean bus on, in this case, so we need to see which component is faulty. Is it the sensor itself? Is it the wiring on the lean or the ECM? Which one is faulty? So I can directly go for the lean bus diagnosis for the wiring itself. I can check the open circuit on the wire, uh, short circuit, uh, short to ground or short to battery. But there is some other way for inspecting the lean bus that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, because this is the network, we should have the waveform of the network between the sensor and the ECM. So right now I'm going to show you how to read the waveform on the lean bus using the oscilloscope to see right now that we have the fault. What is the condition of the network? Is it actually working? Uh, are we able to read the network or we are not? Let's have a look. So as you see, I'm using the oscilloscope. This is my channel one. I'm using the channel one. And here is actually how I read the waveform. So basically when ignition switch is on, battery sensor is gonna send the information of the battery to the engine control module through the lean bus. So I should be able to read the waveform on the sensor when ignition switch is on. Right now I have the fault code. First of all, I'm gonna see uh, what is the waveform like right now, and then we go for the diagnostic. Because of course the workshop manual tells us how to do the diagnostic on the wire, on the lean bus for open circuit, short circuit as well. But I'm gonna check the waveform right now to get something out of it. So on the other end of my cable on oscilloscope, I have the prop which goes to the lean bus right here. I need to just back probably like this. And the other one on a good ground. Okay, let's go for selecting the scope box. All right, let's have a look at the waveform. As you see, we are getting the waveform, but it's almost zero. There's nothing coming through. It means the entire lean bus is completely down. So of course, that's why we had the fault on the network. So let's try something. As you know, on the lean bus, we have master slave nodes. Master is ECM and the slave node is 
battery sensor right now. So I'm going to disconnect the connector on the slave node, which is the battery sensor, to see what's going to happen on the waveform. Have a look at the waveform. I'm disconnecting the connector right now. Okay. You see the waveform is already started. And as you see, the connector on the battery sensor is disconnected. So this waveform confirms that the limb bus is working right now. As you see, the limb bus is operating right now between zero to 12, because the master node is the one generating all the signal required on the limb bus to control the limb bus. And right now I just disconnected the slave node uh, and of course, when waveform is back, it means the battery sensor was faulty. So of course, I was able to go for checking the wiring, but this was the easiest way to find the fault. I've had this kind of fault on many systems. And of course, the first thing I do is actually to do something like this, to check the waveform when all components are connected, then I disconnect the slave nodes one by one to see what's gonna happen to the waveform. When we have something like this, it means that the slave node is uh, broken. All right, guys, I have replaced the battery sensor and I'm gonna connect the connector right now. Connector is disconnected right now. Have a look at the waveform right now when Limbus is working without the slave node connected. Have a look at it. I'm gonna connect the connector on the new battery sensor. All right, you see a slight change on the waveform because right now the master node is requesting and the slave node is responding. That's why there's a slight change on the waveform, which confirms that this one is working as well. And the network is not down anymore because we already replaced the battery sensor. All right, guys. So this was how we checked the waveform on the Limbus. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.